So now that I've shown you how to convert color photos into good quality black and white photos, I want to show you what you can do to accentuate the values in the resulting black and white photos. I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 8, Folder 2 is Black and White Enhancements. First thing I do is Command J. Then, if I have a photo that's way too light, I can go the permanent route, which is right up here, Image Menu, Adjustments, and Levels. This is going to tell me the physical readout of this file. You look at these little triangles. The white triangle represents the brights. The gray triangle represents the midtones, the shades of gray. And the black triangle represents the blacks in the photo. There are no blacks or dark values. So I can drag this triangle to the right. And as I do, I'm going to darken and darken my photo. And I want the darkest part to be right there. So I put it right at the edge of that mountain range. If I go further, I'm going to lose more and more and more detail. So I want a good range to go all the way from the brightest highlights to the darkest values. That already looks good. I can take my midtones and make those a little darker and heavier or brighter, whatever I want to give me a good quality photo. But the problem here is if I go too far like this and I click OK, I have now ruined this photo. Okay, it's done. I lost all that detail because I did it the permanent way. Okay, what chapter eight is going to be all about is adjustment layers, non-destructive photo editing. So I'm going to throw away that copy. And I'm going to make another copy again, Command J. Okay, if I want to darken in this photo, I'm going to go to my adjustments panel. And there is a series of shortcuts right here. Notice these on the top row. It says brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure. These are all shortcuts to these options right here. Image adjustments. Brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure. This, if you go through the menu, you better do it right. Okay. If you're experimenting or you're brand new to Photoshop, don't do it from the menu. Do it from an adjustment layer. So I'm going to click this second one, Levels. Okay, It adds an adjustment that floats above your photo. So here's the levels. Same levels I was just looking at. Same three sliders. I can drag the blacks over to the right. And let's say I don't really know what I'm doing, so I drag it too far. Okay, and I show my boss and they're like, what the heck, man? We're a tire company. You can't even see the tire. If I switch here, notice my levels are gone from the properties panel. But if I click, now they're not there. Double click this icon and I go right back to where I was. I can back off the shadows. It's non-destructive. That is a great way in case you're presenting this to someone else and they're going to make the judgment call. You don't want to back yourself into a corner. So you have the ability to go back and forth and make those changes until the final decision has been made. I use adjustment layers. And again, like I said, they're non-destructive. So I could turn that off and it's like I never touched my photo. Turn it back on and the adjustments take place. So if I did like the result, then I could flatten out my image, and now it's all one. So we're going to be concentrating on adjustment panels or adjustment layers, which are managed by your properties panel. That's what this chapter is going to be all about, color editing and adjustment layers. And there you go.